Welcome back to Most Buffalo. All this week we have had great fun introducing you to and spending time with Mr. Paul Smith. After years of work and travel, the professionally trained English butler has found a home here in western New York. And he's been sharing his expertise with us here on Most Buffalo to put a little extra zip into the holiday. Well, today we're in the kitchen with Paul, whipping up an awesome hors d'oeuvre that's wowed some of his most discerning clients. So, Paul, we're making these cheese puffs, and you have made these all over the world, pretty much, and people love them. They do. In fact, uh, I've made these cheese puffs for hundreds, maybe thousands of people. So what's in these famous cheese puffs? Well, we have a bit of everything. We have the bread that we're going to toast. Then we have some um, cream cheese. And we have some grated Asiago, some grated red onion, Parmesan cheese, some mayonnaise, some hot sauce, and some Lee and Perrin's uh, Worcester. So um, I'm just taking this cutter. Typically, you would probably get close to six a uh, slice. So then you pop them on a cookie sheet and pop them under the broiler. So this is the part you can do in advance because they should be somewhat toasty. The three cheeses and the mayonnaise should be about the same quantity. So you can make a small or a large batch if you like. And it's a lot by taste. Thank you. Um, I just eat it out of the bowl. <laughs> well, people do that too. So now we're going to pop a couple of drops of Tabasco. And again, this is, um, you know, six or eight drops or whatever. Again, it's up to you. It's your preference. So here we are sort of at the finished stage of how it would look. And just for you, Kate, I'd like you to taste it at this stage. And I'm going to taste it also. And then I'll sort of decide, because you've never had it before. Don't do that double dipping thing. I didn't know what that was until I came to America. Really? <laughs> this is fun. There's not going to be any left. <laughs> just keep eating it. Oh, it's going in in just a second. <laughs> So you're just going to pop a little piece on here, like that. Uh, if you feel crazy about cleanup, of course, line your pan with aluminium foil. Yes, it's called aluminium. <laughs> and when they're in the broiler, they are not ever to be left alone, mm -hmm. ever. It's one of those things where te 10 seconds can make, you know, the difference between delicious and a fire alarm. And there we are, Mr. Smith's cheese puffs. It Hello reminds yeah. me of if you like French onion soup. Mm -hmm. That's what it has that same. Mm -hmm. I always like the topping of the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. It reminds me of that a little bit. Those are delicious. I know you guys want to get in here. <laughs> get in there. Now <laughs> it's like. And even just mentioning this dish online before the show, I had people asking for the recipe. We will have that for you in the Most Buffalo section of WGRZ.com. And you guys have been telling me how much you've enjoyed these spots with Paul, and there is more where that came from. We have bonus content with him online, including another recipe. He showed us how to make a dip that is so delicious. Very simple ingredients, really simple steps, and it's unique because it's very light. So it's a perfect snack for a, before a big meal. And we'll have that bonus video and the recipe online at WGRZ.com.